Hi, gang. Uh, my radar meteorologist Matthew Capuccio with the latest on El Nino. There's something really weird happening with our current El Nino, and it could have big impacts on our weather this winter. El Nino comes every couple of years. It's the opposite of La Nina. It begins as a warming of water temperatures in the eastern tropical Pacific. That shuffles key weather systems all around the world. The warm eastern Pacific brews low pressure, which splits the jet stream. Half of it sweeps across the Baja Peninsula and across the southern U.S., bringing cool and wet conditions along with severe weather. The other half surges high into Canada, allowing warmer, drier weather to swell across much of North America. Now, the past three winters, we've had La Ninas. We call that back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back pattern a triple-dip La Nina. But now things are switching. Let's first discuss what's going on in the oceans and then why the atmosphere is acting all weird. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. And click on that notification bell. That way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. For starters, we have this magic invisible box in the eastern tropical Pacific. We call this the Nino 3.4 region. Within this box, water temperatures are about 2.7 degrees above average. That's what the National Weather Service considers a threshold for a strong El Nino. But the weather doesn't feel very El Nino-y. The South, for example, isn't very wet. In fact, Louisiana is dealing with the worst drought in the country. 74% of the Bayou State is under a top-tier exceptional drought. It can all be traced back to this weird warm blob in the Western Pacific. That's not supposed to be there. Normally, we'd have air rise over the Eastern Pacific thanks to the warmer waters and sink over the Western Pacific. But the western warm blob is also heating the air, causing rising there. And not everything can rise if nothing is sinking. After all, what goes up must come down. So you actually have less rising motion over the eastern Pacific. That's weird. For comparison, here's what October of 1997 looked like. A little more in line with the look of an El Nino. The western Pacific warm blob is also juicing up the atmosphere, causing more rain and thunderstorms out there. To the east of the International Dateline, we've been seeing much more sinking motion, which brings down drier air. That's kind of weird, too. Now, some experts think that this might be a leftover artifact of La Nina, like an atmospheric hangover of sorts. I could see that, and frankly, we've all been there. They do, however, think the warm blob's influence will wane. In the coming weeks, we should have an episode of stronger westerly winds, which will blow the warm air at the mid-levels into the eastern Pacific where it belongs. In the western Pacific, temperatures will trend cooler. El Nino La Nina is a big deal in weather, so we'll have a separate video on what a typical El Nino winter looks like. In the meantime, always stay tuned for more weather updates here in the MyRadar app. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.